Hi, my name is Hithpal Anurag and this is video of week 5. In this video, we have to characterize the behavior of BZT and MOSFET. So this experiment is divided into 4 parts. So in part 1st, we are going to analyze the behavior of uh, BZT and MOSFET. And in the second part, we are using the NED to determine the behavior of both BZT and MOSFET. And in the 4th part, we are going to use light dependent register. So this is the circuit for the part 1. So this is the BZT of which this on icon is emitter, second is base and the third is collector. So I have connected this RC of 1000 ohm and this RB uh, in the base voltage line uh, of 1000 ohm and I am giving the input of 2.5 volt to this potentiometer of 1k and the channel A is going in VCC so I am using this potentiometer to adjust the voltage equal to voltage zero equal to 0 0.7 volt along the base and the emitter so now we will uh, measure voltage in a power this circuit and we can see that the base voltage is 0 0.7 volt and the emitter voltage is equal to 0 so we B is going to be 0 0.7 volt so this BZT is now on now we go ahead and insert this into the collector terminal and increase the voltage through the channel A so now VCC value is equal to 1 volt and we can see that the value of our VCE the difference of collector and the emitter voltage is equal to 0 0.5 now at a 2 volt this is increased to 1.12 volt and at 3 volt again it goes to 2 volt and when we apply this is equal to 4 volt the difference of the collector and emitter voltage is going to 2.84 volt we can also measure the current so at a 4 volt this uh, current is equal to 2.05 now we have collected the enough data and we are going to plot the graph of VCE versus IC. So now I am using the MOSFET. So I have done a slight change. The first terminal from this side is our gate and the second is drain and the third is source. So the output of this potentiometer is going to the gate and the VCC is giving uh, its voltage to drain by a, a resistor of 1k 1000 ohm we are going to increase the voltage of this bcc from 1 volt to 5 volt and measure the voltage across the drain and the source so at the 4 volt it is showing something 2.1 volt and at the 3 volt it is 1.92 volt at 2 volts it is showing 1.42 volt at 1 volt this is 0 0.47 volt and at a 5 volt this is equal to 2.98 volt so now we move to the second part of the ex experiment we are going to drive an LED using the BZT so this is the circuit for part 2 and I have connected this LED in series with this uh, 200 ohm 220 ohm resistor and the output of this potentiometer is connected to the base through a 5 kilo ohm resistor and I am giving the 5 volt to this circuit now in this part we have to note the uh, collector emitter voltage when LED is on and LED is off so I am giving 5 volt and the ground so we can see that this LED is glowing So this LED now becomes off and we are going to measure the voltage between base and the emitter. So the voltage across the base and emitter is equal to 3.38 volt, 3.38 volt when this LED is off. Now again I turn this LED on and measure the voltage. You can see that voltage is decreasing and LED start glowing.
So this volt has now become 0 0.15 volt and our LED is now glowing fully. So this BZT is now on and in the last part we have to remove this RB and measure the voltage across it. So the voltage at, uh, so now I have removed the RB and the uh, voltage at uh, variable terminal is equal to 1.15 volt. So this is the circuit for driving an LED to the MOSFET. So I have connected this LED in uh, series with this uh, 200 ohm register and this register is going in the drain which is the second terminal of our MOSFET. The gate is connected directly to the output of this potentiometer in the second terminal. So this LED is off. So we measure the voltage across the drain and the source and now we adjust this knob now this LED is glowing fully and uh, we can see that voltage is equal to 0 0.14 volt so this is the last part of our experiment so I have connected this LED in series with this 200 ohm register and this is 5 kilo ohm register connected through the second terminal of this potentiometer and we are giving the 5 volt and this is the light dependent register I have connected. So if you glue light, so on gluing light we can see that uh, this LED becomes off.